everyone, I'm Miss Haley and welcome to Bilingual Storytime today. Bilingual means two languages or more and so today we're going to be singing and reading books in English and Spanish. And so today you might notice I'm wearing my winter hat because we're going to be talking all about playing in the snow. And it might not be snowy yet where you are, but it's supposed to snow here in East Peoria this week, so I'm already super excited. <laughs> so let's begin today with our welcome song. Ready? Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. And you, and you. Great job. Now we're gonna do it in Spanish. Ready? Buenos dias, buenos dias, como estas, como estas, muy bien gracias, muy bien gracias, y usted, y usted. Nice job, muy bien. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do um, one more song before we get started with our first book, and it's called Open, Shut Them. It helps us get all of our sillies out before story time. So first we're gonna do it in English, and the moves are we open our fingers wide and then we close them and we open them again and close them. And we're going to do some clapping, some padding, and we're also going to crawl up our arms all the way up to our chin, gonna circle our mouth and then hide our hands away. Okay, you ready to follow along with me? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. All the way up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not put them in. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do it in Spanish too. Are you ready? Abre sierra, abre sierra, do una pama ti ta ta. Abre sierra, abre sierra, mountain las juntitas tas. Sube, 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 hasta la barbilla ya. Abre la boquita, pero no me tas los dedos. <laughs> Great job. And now that we have all of our sillies out, I think I'm ready to start our first story. So this one is called The Snowy Day or Un Dia de Nieve. It's by Ezra Jack Keats, written and illustrated. And we want to thank Penguin Young Readers Group for letting us do this read aloud. <coughs> one winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Una mañana de invierno, Peter se despertó y miró por la ventana. Snow had fallen during the night. Había caído nieve durante la noche. It covered everything as far as he could see. Lo cubría todo hasta donde él podía ver. Wow, look at all that snow. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. Después del desayuno, se puso el traje para la nieve y salió afuera corriendo. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. La nieve estaba apillada muy alto a lo largo de la acera para que la gente pudiera caminar. Wow. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes, toes pointing out like this. Crash, crash, crash. Sus pies se hundieron en la nieve. Caminó con la punta de sus pies hacia fuera así. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Caminó con la punta de sus pies hacia dentro así. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Después arrastró sus pies despacio para dejar huelas. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. You see one, two, those are his two feet. And then a third one right up here. 
Entonces encontró algo que sobresalía de la nieve que dejaba una nueva huella. It was a stick. Era un palo. A stick that was just right for making or for smacking a snow-covered tree. Un palo perfecto para golpear un árbol cubierto de nieve. What do you think is going to happen when he pokes all that snow? Hmm. Let's see. Let's find out. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. La nieve cayó, plaf, sobre la cabeza de Peter. That is silly. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Pienso que sería divertido unirse a los niños mayores en su batalla de bolas de nieve, pero sabía que no era lo suficiente mayor no tardaría. So, he made a smiling snowman instead. Entonces hizo un muñeco de nieve que sonreía. And he made angels. E hizo ángeles. Oh, and you can even see the little part of his hat in the snow angel. That's funny. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow. Se imaginó que era un alpinista escaló una gigantesca montaña de nieve and slid all the way down. Y se deslizó hacia abajo. Do you like to go sledding? That's one of my favorite winter activities to do in the snow. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Recogió un puñado de nieve y luego otro y otro más. Hizo una boya firme y la guardó en el bolsillo para el día siguiente. Después regresó a su caído hogar. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Ugh, I hate the feeling of wet socks. Le contó a su mamá todos sus aventuras mientras ella le quitaba los calcetines mojados. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Y pensó y pensó y pensó sobre ello. Hmm, just taking a bubble bath and thinking. I do that all the time. <clears throat> Before he got into bed, he looked into his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Antes de irse a la cama, busco en el bolsillo. Su bolsillo estaba vacío. La boya de nieve ya no estaba allí. Se sintió muy triste. And he went to bed sad. I don't like that. But while he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. Se durmió y soñó que el sol había derretido toda la nieve. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling, even. Pero cuando despertó, su sueño había des desaparecido. La nieve seguía cubriéndolo todo y caía nieve nueva. He looks happy again, right? Not sad anymore. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Man, that is really deep. Do you see how tall that is compared to them? <laughs> That's huge. Después des desayuno, llamó a su amigo que vivía enfrente y juntos salieron a caminar. Por la onda profunda nieve. El fin, the end. Wow, he got to do so many fun things in the snow. I'm kind of jealous. I can't wait for it to snow. 
So caregivers, one literacy tip I wanted to share with you today is about narrative skills. And that's one of the six early literacy tips we want to teach kids before the age of five to help them learn to read and write. So for narrative skills um, and to help them learn story structure and talk about their lives in a story-like way, um, it's a really good idea to read a story with them just like this one. And then afterward, you will ask them to retell it to you. And the more and more you ask them to do this, the better they'll get at sharing those details. So maybe later today, after you listen to this story time, you can ask them, hey, you wanna tell me again about what happened in the snowy day? And if they get stuck, you can ask them a prompting question like, what happened when he got all the way up to the top of the snowy hill? So I hope that helps. And now we're going to do a fun snowman song. It is called, I'm a little snowman or Soy un muñeco de nieve. I have my snowman friend right here. <laughs> Can't do it without him. And I have the lyrics up on this whiteboard too. So first we're going to do it in English and then we're going to do it in Spanish. I hope you'll follow along with me and point out the things on the snowman as I sing about them. Okay, ready? I'm a little snowman, look at me. These are my buttons, one, two, three. These are my eyes, and this is my nose. I wear a hat and scarf, Brr, it's cold. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now in Spanish, ready? Soy un muñeco de nieve, mirenme. Estos son mis botones, uno, dos, tres. Estos son mis ojos y esta es mi nariz. Uso sombrero y bufando, brr, hace frío. Wow, you guys did great with that one. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna put my little snowman friend to the side, but he'll be joining us for the rest of the story time. Okay, we have one more story to read. It is called Max and Sarah Build a Snowman, or Max y Sarah Hacen un Muñeco de Nieve just like our little buddy right here. And it is by Harriet Zeifert, illustrations by Ekaterina Trukan. And we wanna thank Blue Apple Books for letting us read this book. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Max. My sister's name is Sarah. Yo soy Max. Mi hermana se llama Sarah. We are playing hide and seek. Estamos jugando a las escondidas. I tell Sarah to hide. Le digo a Sarah que se esconda. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Listo o no, ya vengo. Sarah, where are you? Sarah, donde estas? I'm looking for you. I'm looking behind the chair. Te estoy buscando. Estoy buscando atrás de la silla. That cat is giving him the side eye. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Not in the kitchen. Sarah, where are you? I'm looking under the desk. Sarah, donde estas? Estoy buscando abajo del escritorio. What room is this in? The last one was the kitchen. I see a bed, so I think it might be the bedroom. Sarah, where are you? Sarah, donde estas? Come out now or I'm not going to play with you. Sal ahora, allá no juego contigo. Hmm, that was kind of mean. <laughs> I hope he still plays with her. Here I am, here I am, she says. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Here I am, aquí estoy. She was hiding in a coat. I never would have found her there. <laughs> Sarah says, Max, now it's your turn. Sarah dice, Max, ahora te toca esconderte. I don't want to hide, says Max. No me quiero esconder, dice Max. What do you think he's thinking about looking out that window? He says, I want to play in the snow. Quiero jugar en la nieve. We can go outside, but first we need, podemos ir afuera, pero necesitamos ski pants, pantalones de nieve, boots, or botas, 
hats or goros, scarves, bufandas, and gloves, y guantes. Or you could say mittens, mitones. Let's build a snowman, says Max. Vamos a hacer un muñeco de nieve, dice Max. Mommy helps us. We work and work. Mama nos ayuda. Trabam, or, trabajamos y trabajamos. Mommy's making the biggest one. We make two snowmen. Hacemos dos muñecos de nieve. A snow girl and a snow boy, just like us. Una niña y un niño, como nosotros dos. Which one do you think is the girl snowman? And which one's the boy one? I think this one's the girl one. She has a bow on her hat. Okay, I believe that is it. Yep, Elfine, the end. Thank you so much for reading those stories with me. I have had so much fun. And before story time ends, we have just a couple reminders for caregivers. Um, we have a Mango Languages app that can be super helpful for you to learn a new language with your child. And it's totally free if you go to fondelaclibrary.org. Um, I've been using it actually a little bit to try to brush up on my Spanish because I need it. <laughs> so it's, it's really great. It has um, conversations you can have, like fake ones. And then we also have um, grammar notes and like cultural context notes that are really helpful because honestly, for certain words and phrases, they're just a little different than a direct translation from English. So super helpful. If you wanna check it out, I hope you do. And we also have a fun craft um, as a take and make that you can pick up from the library through the atrium or through our drive-through. And it's a glitter snow angel. So we have included a little angel man and I'm getting glitter everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> so we have a little bag of glitter and two glitter pens and some paper. So we'll have instructions in there for you guys to pick up and I hope you will come get those. And now we just have our goodbye song. So before we say goodbye, I just want to tell you guys that our next story time is going to be February 4th, which is a Thursday, our bilingual story time. And you can still join us next week for another one on Thursday. Okay, ready? Adios, adios. A ti, mi amigo, cuídate, muy bien, nos vemos otra vez. Great job. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.